Welcome back. Bruce Porter joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents segment. Once again, good to see you. Good to be here. All right, we're going to take up where we left off last week. Yes. Five retirement planning missteps to dodge. So, okay, don't do these things and That's things are right. going to be better for you. Last week we talked about not having a mapped out retirement strategy and we talked about living beyond your means. Okay, those are the first two. Number three, you ready? Yep. Okay. You're under the impression that you're going to be healthy forever and therefore may be ignoring the cost of health care in retirement. That's a biggie. That is that is a biggie because uh, actually people, when they're approaching uh, age 65, what's the big decision you have to make? Do I buy a supplement or do I buy an Advantage plan? And so, you know, I have my opinion on that, but the answer to that is whatever fits your particular need uh, and your family dynamic. Now, if you want to eliminate uh, health as a financial worry the rest of your life, mm -hmm. then my opinion, a Medicare supplement, while they are more expensive, because Advantage plans a lot of times are either a zero or a low cost premium, so there's a big, big difference. But if you can afford to buy a Medicare supplement, then you eliminate, if you think about it, you eliminate health as a major financial worry the rest of your life. Because a supplement hmm. is going to pick up everything that Medicare wow. does not. Okay. So I like to address the affordability of a supplement or the necessity of an Advantage plan. And if you have to go with an Advantage plan, that's fine, but we get back to planning. We plan for how much out of pocket we're gonna have exposed for any given year, and we earmark money for that so that, again, we eliminate health as a financial burden. And so there's ways yeah. to address this in a plan that helps us alleviate the devastating effect yeah. of a sudden illness. Okay, that's a good one. I dread that whole Medicare thing. It seems yep. way too complicated. You need somebody to help you figure it Don't out. Worry, all right, you'll number four. get a lot of mail. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you hear a lot of commercials on TV. Yep. Anyway, all right, you are not saving enough to account for inflation. That's right. Now, just before we came on air, mm -hmm. I was uh, doing a little research on some different topics, and uh, uh, two weeks ago, the Fed announced you know, inflation has been averaging about 2% the last 20 years. Then in the last 45 days, it was creeping above 4%. And they just announced, two weeks ago they announced, the current inflation is, is setting at 54 And so I think what we've got to be aware of is inflation, inflation is that uh, unknown hidden danger that's setting back here behind the uh -huh. scenes that is taking money out of your pocket and you don't even know it. Call it the milk and bread chart if yeah. you want. Milk and bread, I think we'd all agree, is going to be higher in five years than it is today. Yeah. Good grief. Since the inauguration, gasoline prices have nearly doubled. Right? Think about that. You so know, now, they've definitely gone up. I don't know. I don't know how far up. So now yeah. you look at the cost of vehicles. You look at the cost of freight. You look at the cost of what's happening mm -hmm. due to increased fuel cost. So now what's that going to do? It's going to put a burden on goods and services. So we have to be aware of that. Okay, we got about 30 seconds left, and this is kind of a no-brainer. You haven't prepared for the possibility of long-term care. Long-term care. It's hugely expensive. Long-term care is a huge crisis in the United States. I have dealt with two or three different cases in the last three or four days, and every one of them, they were not prepared. They're shocked at the price. The average cost of care currently is around $6,500 per month per person. And if you're not prepared to pay that out of pocket, you need to be making provisions where you can. There's ways to do it through trust planning. Yep. There are ways to do it through insurance. Sometimes it's unaffordable. Call the office, 882-1800. At least we can have a discussion or go on my website, resourcecenterinc.com. And I'm glad to sit down and just have the discussion and help you and your family try to plan. All right. Good yep. advice Absolutely. for sure. Bruce Porter, thank you so much. Be right back.